the convergence of those three technologies is beginning to cure disease. So uh, a company called CRISPR Therapeutics, which is one of the largest in our ARKG fund and in the top 10 in our ARKK fund, uh, has developed a therapy uh, to cure sickle cell disease with, and beta thalassemia, both of those are blood-related diseases, with one treatment. Think about that. Now, the preconditioning for that is gruesome. It's, it's, it involves, it's almost like chemotherapy, which is going to change. Uh, but nonetheless, there's huge demand for it because, you know, these people go to the emergency room 10 to 20 times per year for blood transfusions to save their lives. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're going to go through a tough regimen. They want to live a more normal life. Uh, so it's already generating revenue. Both, both of those are already generating revenue for CRISPR Therapeutics and a company called Vertex. Kathy Wood has built her reputation by spotting transformative companies long before Wall Street catches on. Here, she highlights CRISPR Therapeutics not just as a biotech success story, but as proof that disruptive innovation changes entire industries. For Wood, the blending of artificial intelligence, genomics, and robotics is unlocking value in ways that most investors cannot yet appreciate. To her, the companies that ride these innovation waves won't simply grow, they'll multiply. And when she says, an AI stock can 10 times by 2030, she's drawing from this same playbook of exponential growth. Yes, and now our prediction, the stock is, I'm not going to be exactly right on this, $270, uh, $280. Our prediction in five years is $2,600. And 90% of that valuation comes not from the electric vehicle, but from this robo-taxi platform. Uh, because the electric car, if you think about it, is, you know, a one-shot sale. You know, sell and hope they come back when they're replacing their car. This essentially means that we'll be driving cars that we can click a button and then it becomes an autonomous taxi. So Tesla is the clearest example of this exponential leap. Years ago, Wood was mocked for suggesting the company could soar past levels that seemed unimaginable at the time. Now, she sees the robo-taxi platform as the real driver of future value. The logic is simple yet powerful. AI transforms a one-time car sale into a recurring revenue business, much like a subscription model. This shift from product to service is what Wood identifies as the essence of 10 times potential. So I go on holiday, I have my, my Tesla car at my house. When I go on holiday, the car turns into a taxi and starts chauffeuring people around. It makes me money, but also from the consumer's perspective that are trying to hail a taxi. At any point, I can go on my Tesla app, I press a button, a autonomous car comes to me with no one driving it, and it takes me to my destination with no driver at all. Right. Um, and then the recurring revenue model, I believe, is you, subs you subscribe. It, it probably could. It, it, to the it network. could be a. Sub you could subscribe to the network, or they could, uh, you know, maybe it could be either or subscription mm -hmm. or a la carte if you don't think you're going to use it that much. Here, Wood paints a vision of how AI enabled systems could reshape everyday life. A car is no longer a depreciating asset sitting idle in the driveway it becomes a productive income-generating machine. For Tesla owners, this could mean their vehicles literally work for them, while consumers benefit from cheaper, more efficient transportation. This business model, powered by artificial intelligence, illustrates why she believes the upside is so dramatic. One other thing about Tesla, though, in that $2,600 uh, number, we do not include much for humanoid robots. Now, I, this, and, and this is happening faster than we thought. Um, he, and the reason it's happening faster is humanoid robots, they are the convergence of the same three technologies or innovation platforms as robotaxis. 
ro- robots, robotics, mm-hmm. so actuators and so forth, getting them to work, energy storage, battery operated, and AI. Mm-hmm. So Tesla's way ahead of the game on humanoid robots, and yet we have very little. Now, Elon thinks that the humanoid robot business is going to dwarf the robo-taxi business. And we think he's right, uh, but longer term. So- What's compelling here is Wood's recognition that AI doesn't just stop at transportation. The same technological core, AI, energy storage, and robotics, could unlock entirely new industries. She points to humanoid robots as the next great frontier. And if Elon Musk is correct, this business could eventually dwarf even the revolutionary robo-taxi market. For Wood, this isn't a far-off dream. It's a reality forming faster than analysts expected. So, as I mentioned, we expect all in around the world, including China, not just Tesla, but the entire ecosystem, an 8 to uh, $10 trillion market uh, in the next 5 to 10 years. For humanoid robots... Uh, we expect a $26 trillion revenue market. Now, that's going to be a little further along. Uh, Robotaxis will happen faster, but it may not be as distant as we were once thinking. These numbers are staggering. If she's right, robotaxis could kick off a trillion-dollar industry within the next decade, while humanoid robots create a market many times larger soon after. Kathy Wood's thesis rests on the idea that AI isn't merely incremental. It's transformative, creating entirely new categories of value. It's within these new frontiers that the 10 times gains she predicts are most likely to emerge. And uh, I do believe that though that dancing robot was, was um, not tethered and not remotely controlled. It was quite shocking to see a robot doing that because if a robot can have that dexterity and mobility and then you overlay that with the AI technologies that are accelerating rapidly, it begs the question. And the question is quite clear, which is, what about humans? Moments like this highlight just how quickly the gap between science fiction and reality is closing. A robot capable of dancing autonomously is no parlor trick. It's evidence of extraordinary leaps in AI's ability to process movement and mimic human dexterity. If machines can reach this level of precision, it becomes easier to see how they might enter workplaces, homes, and industries once thought untouchable. Um, and just to put a finer t- you know, note on this, um, Elon will not be satisfied until these robots can thread a needle. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're going. What does that mean for humans? So, you know, the history of technology is that it has been a net job creator throughout history. Wood frames all of this in a broader context. While some worry that AI and robotics may take jobs away, She emphasizes that technological revolutions historically create more opportunities than they destroy. It's not just about efficiency, but about unlocking new industries and reshaping how we live and work. And in her view, this reshaping is precisely where the 10 times growth will be found. We followed Kathy Wood's sweeping vision from biotech breakthroughs like CRISPR to AI-driven business models like robo-taxis, and even into the futuristic realm of humanoid robots. Her thesis is bold. AI is not a marginal tool, but a world-changing force, poised to create multi-trillion dollar industries. For investors willing to look ahead, she believes this is where the exponential gains will come from. So, you know, the history of technology is that it has been a net job creator throughout history. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you believe Kathy Wood is right? Will artificial intelligence fuel stocks that rise tenfold by 2030? Or are these predictions a step too far into the future?